Hi, welcome to the screencast from Progress Software. Today we're going to be looking at how to create dashboard in minutes using Telric UI for ASP.NET MVC. My name is Lohit Jian. I work as a technical evangelist here in Progress. Before we get started, let's take a moment to understand what exactly is Telric UI for ASP.NET MVC. Head over to www.telric.com. Click on Products and then select UI for ASP.NET MVC. This is the product homepage for UI for ASP.NET MVC. What is UI for ASP.NET MVC? Well, it's a bunch of controls that we provide you to build rich and responsive web apps for any devices twice as fast. And you will be glad to know that we now have ASP.NET Core MVC support out of the box. If you want to know some of the features of UI for ASP.NET MVC, well, it's available here. You can go through them one by one. The 70 plus controls or the components as we call it, which is powered by Kendo UI is available here. Some of the most popular ones are grid, chart, scheduler, and many more. Some of the support and learning materials that you would like to use, the demos, the documentation, the code libraries, the blocks, everything is mentioned here. We do publish upfront the features and the roadmaps for you know the releases. If you want to go ahead and then click on try now you can do that and then you will be able to get the Telric UI for ASP.NET MVC on your mission and you can follow along the next section of this video I hope you will download and install it now by this time you would have installed the Telric UI for ASP.NET MVC product on your mission as part of the installation we do provide certain project templates which will be available in your Visual Studio and one of the templates that we're going to be looking at today is the dashboard project template. So up next, we're going to see how to create a dashboard in minutes using Telric UI for ASP.NET MVC project templates. Here, I have opened up my Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition. I've already installed Telric UI for ASP.NET MVC on this system. There are two ways in which you can create a new Telric UI for ASP.NET MVC project. You can click on the new project. In the new project dialog, you will see Telerik and then web node coming up here. And then you will see Kendo UI for ASP.NET MVC5 application template available here. Another way would be to see this menu item which says Telerik and then you have the UI for ASP.NET MVC and click on create new Telerik project. You can follow whichever way you want. And I'm going to select Telric Web and then Kendo UI ASP.NET MVC5 application. I'm going to give it a name for this app. I'm going to call it Dashboard Web App and click on OK. This is a project configuration wizard which will try to ask you a couple of things. It already knows that I have installed the UI for ASP.NET MVC version 2016.2. And here is the project template or the project types as we call it. There are five project types we provide as part of the Kendo UI ASP.NET MVC project templates. One is empty. As the name goes, it will be completely empty. The standard where you have the standard pages coming up. Grid and menu. It will have a menu, Kendo UI menu and then the Kendo UI grid. Then AngularJS. This particular project will be completely AngularJS code. Then we have the dashboard template. I'm going to be selecting this dashboard template. In the theme, as you can see, we provide a bunch of themes available out of the box. I will be selecting the material theme. I don't want to use a CDN support. I will be hosting all the Kendo UI scripts and then the style sheet within my project. But in a production scenario, we would recommend you to go and use the CDN support. I will remove add test project for now, just for the demo. Let me click finish. Visual Studio will go ahead and then create this project. Now that we have the project created, let's go over the solution and uh, look at the various parts of the project. To start with, let's uh, look at the content folder. We have the Kendo folder created here with the version number and then all the style sheet files have been kept here. Then if you look at the scripts folder, there's a Kendo folder again with the version number and then all the Kendo related JavaScript files have been kept there. Apart from that, in the content folder, we have certain JSON files that have been placed here. So we'll come back to that. 
Now what we're going to do is let's directly run this without making any changes and then see the output of this particular project. I will now run this web application by making use of the debug mode and then running it under Firefox. So Visual Studio will build this application and then launch Firefox browser now. We should see the home page being navigated to. So there it is. We have navigated the localhost colon port under which the project is running. And this is a beautifully crafted dashboard UI that you're going to get. On the left hand side, you will see, uh, you know, kind of a team members, you know, different team members being listed. And then you can click on a particular team member and then you can see that the data on the right hand side is changing. If I select Andrew Fuller, you will be able to see more details about Andrew here, the quarter to date sales that he has done and the monthly average sales that he has done versus the representative sales versus the total sales, meaning how much has Andrew done versus the total sales for this period. The period is 11196 to 8198 and then also in the bottom you will be able to see a scheduler which is basically showing within this time period uh, what, how many uh, you know, products were shipped by this particular uh, sales representative and this is uh, basically the dashboard UI that we give you as part of the dashboard template in Telric UI for ASP.NET and MVC. This is as simple as it can get to create a dashboard. Now let's take a look at the code and then uh, different pieces of this particular page that make up this dashboard template. I'm back in my Visual Studio and then I open the views home index.chhtml file. On the top, we had seen the uh, date pickers for uh, you know statistics, start date and then end date. So that is possible through this particular input. Uh, you know, we have kept an input and then named it start date. We kept an input and then named it end date. And then when the page loads, we will convert them into the Kendo UI date pickers. Then we had seen the team members on the left hand side, and then that's possible through this div, which is employees list div. And at runtime, what we will do is we'll convert this into Kendo UI list view. And on the right hand side, we had seen the quarter to date sales, monthly average sales. So all this is possible through these divs, and these divs will be converted into uh, spark lines, Kendo UI spark lines. Then here's the team sales, the bar chart that we had that was coming up. So that's again a div, but that will be converted into a Kendo UI bar chart. Then we have the scheduler. So the schedule uh, of the product cell. Uh, so this is the div, which basically will be converted into a scheduler. And then it's going to show the dates on which a product was sold. Then going into the code, as you can see here, when the page loads or the at runtime and the document loads, we are going and then making a call to the static JSON. So this is what I had showed you earlier, the JSON files that we have in the content folder. Basically, in order to give you a realistic uh, dash dashboard UI, we have made use of the static JSON files as the data uh, you know, backing store. So we're getting the employee team uh, on team sales. We're getting the employee average sales. We're getting the employee quarter sales. And then basically we will be getting the employee list also. And then this is how we are converting. So if you take a uh, look at here, the div called employees list will be converted into a Kendo list view. But how should it be converted? Each template will be uh, shown like this using this particular template here. And then the data will be fetched using our Kendo UI data source. Here's the URL that from there the data will be fetched. Similarly, we have kind of charts being created for quarter sales. Uh, and then it's again getting the data from the uh, JSON file. So here's the average sales. And then we will be converting again a team sales into Kendo chart. And then here is how we convert the scheduler. So you take the div, convert that into a scheduler. And then the data is again fed from the JSON file, which is employee sales.json. And that is all it takes to create a, uh, you know, beautifully looking dashboard UI. If this is something that your project needs, you can pretty much make use of this particular dashboard template. And then what you can do is you can make use of this dashboard template and readily use it in your project. All you need to do is instead of the, uh, the JSON files that we are using, you can create your own web API backend or web API service and then uh, hook 
uh, hook all the kind of UI ch uh, co components that we have with your own services. I hope this screencast has given you a jump start on how to use our dashboard project templates in your projects. Thank you for listening. If you need more information, you can contact me on the email address provided on your screen.